So when you're looking at the Seven of Pentacles, we're talking about reevaluating. Okay. I don't really ever see this as a waiting card because you're at a seven. You're talking about taking inventory or taking stock of all of the hard work that you've put into something and what you've produced out of it. Right. So, and this one definitely shows the pain and suffering. So you may be kind of like reevaluating things when it comes to this person, but I don't think that it's in a negative way. I think that it's in a good way. It, this is about, you know, there being potential growth. So you're coming in with new feelings. It, I look at the page of cups as purity, but in terms of love, we're definitely talking about communication of emotions and you feeling something new, you know, having some feelings are stored here when it comes to this person. And a lot of that is because they're showing the Ace of Pentacles. This is about a relationship that is more than just a fling. I look at the Ace of Pentacles and I think long term, you know, besides being practical and realistic about, you know, how the relationship is moving forward. But I feel like they're showing that they're willing to take advantage of this opportunity to go the long haul with you. Now, you move into strength and that is because they are showing the six of swords. I almost feel like this is separate from you. Now, absolutely for some of you, especially with the seven of pentacles being the overall, we could be talking about, you know, this person needing to move on from issues where there has been conflict between the two of you and you are staying calm, not being forceful about anything. Now, on the other hand, you may be dealing with a person who needs to move on from some difficult things in their life. I don't necessarily feel like they're moving away from you because you are showing that, you know, I, I'm going to stay calm. I'm going to keep, you know, cool here while this is kind of happening. You know, I'm not going to lose control, you know, because I really feel like strength in this case is you going I don't need to force anything to happen here. I, I, I'm good. But they clearly need to figure something out. There's been something that they've been struggling with, some kind of conflict they're dealing with that they need to move on from. But where you move out of that, again, the opportunity again presents itself. So with the Ace of Cups, you know, it, again, there's the new opportunity for love. You know, that, that happiness, emotional fulfillment, and it's just the beginning for you, you start looking at it as we got to start working toward this. I really do believe that with the Page of Pentacles here, you're like, okay, we're, we're starting from the bottom here, but we need to start building, you know, toward what we're wanting in this relationship. So it makes me think that, especially with the Seven of Pentacles being the overall, that this is somebody that you may have been in a relationship with before and things may have been good, but you may be starting over. Like you're, you're starting over with this person, but you're looking at, you know, a better relationship in the long run, you know, and again, it, being practical and being realistic about things, definitely. Now, looking at the queen of cups coming out of this, you know, whether you're dealing with male or female water sign here, she though, you know, especially falling on your side and you kicking it off with the page of cups. I think that you're in a good place as far as your emotions, because I see this more so as your emotional well-being. I mean, there's definitely involvement and attachment and love for sure. But we could also be talking about you looking at the other person that way. Like, you know, they're finally more in tune with the way that they feel right now with the three of wands being in between the two of you, I see this as a good thing. This is, not necessarily waiting for the right moment. I think that certain things need to be in place though, before you can continue further to where you can get to, you know, essentially the four of wands in this case. But I look at this as good because I also think that the both of you are kind of looking at, you know, what the future is going to look like. And that is what you are trying to work toward. You know, I, I don't necessarily feel like there's something that you're going to have to wait on or wait to happen, you know. Now, looking at the Page of Wands, I think that for them, once they get past the conflict that may be, you know, preventing this beginning from starting, 
it looks like to me here that first of all we're talking about you know the good news right but i also look at this as very closely related to the fool where you're taking a path that you've never taken before but it's about you know the passion and the drive that kind of pushes you through regardless of lack of experience so this is really looking at things like this is brand new this is a brand new path a brand new road but you're also talking about somebody who's willing to take that and do this you know so this actually looks really good taurus and then the sun like i i think that you know it, everything it eventually is gonna be fine but i also think that you know what is going on with this person is being made more clear to you and what it is that they're kind of dealing with here now let's first of all take a look at the world in the tower okay so you know you're talking about emotional well-being being in a better place emotionally being emotionally invested and attached with the world we're talking about you know the ending of a chapter in your life here there is the successful completion that kind of opens the door for you guys to move forward but it's only because there is drastic sudden change i don't think that this is about this person having a shock i think it's them creating you know the the tower here right so they need to drastically change things before you know they can kind of like follow through on this new path this new road in this relationship so to speak now they i think are dealing with somebody though that is separate from you i don't feel like this is you i don't feel like this is representing you i think that this is somebody else and in this case you know i don't think that the king of swords is here showing that you know this is somebody that's trying to give advice or you know being logical or reasonable here i do think that we're talking about an asshole and i say that because of kind of like what's going on surrounding that now i do think that that page of wands is going to be good news I think that it's going to create problems though between you and this person because with the eight of swords you're looking at it like well you know i i don't really see how there's a way forward with this person still being involved creating problems because you're talking about somebody who's being intentionally combative but the thing is, is it's directly affecting you but i think that with the sun it's like all of that it has become clear it's all become clear to you but I, I look at this as you care. You care about what's going on with them. You care about who they're kind of dealing with, you know? And I think it's because of this drastic change that they're making that they're dealing with this person that's like not happy with the choice that they're making at all. And it's like they refuse to accept it, but I feel like they have no choice because there's at least some kind of finality here with the tower. And I mean, you're showing it with the world. That's great. That's perfect. That's what needs to happen here if we're going to, you know, start working on this and building this relationship, right? But at some point, I think that, you know, this person is going to become an, an issue. I do think eventually here there's going to be at least some kind of communication that's going to show you that everything's fine but the fight isn't over for them i don't feel like it's over with i think that this person is going to oppose them at every turn you know and it just depends on who they're dealing with here but i i feel like they have you know an agenda I almost feel like they believe that they're in the right by opposing, you know, what they're choosing to do by being involved with you. You know, and I think that for you, though, there is going to be at least some kind of like, you know, I, I'm not really understanding why this is a problem. You know, especially when you come out of the Eight of Swords and move into the Sun. But like I said, I feel like, you know, at least some life is being breathed back into the situation. But like I said, with that three of wands, I don't think that you were, you know, waiting for the, the right time. I think that if anybody was, it's them because of somebody else. And I do feel like that King of Swords is somebody else. All right. So playfulness, first of all, this is, it's not that serious. You know, we're, we're just having fun. And I think that you need to come from that perspective because as happy as you may be with this person i highly doubt that they're doing anything to deal with the situation that they're already in because i look at this and think yep 
they're involved somewhere else. You may be finding yourself getting involved with somebody who really should not be doing what they're doing. So with the hangman coming in, I think that for a lot of you who have been single for a while, you may have been waiting on a specific person. Now, with the Hierophant being attached to that, like I always say, the Hierophant is about spiritual support for a relationship, okay? But I also look at this as somebody who may be committed, right? Which would explain why nothing is really happening. All the while, though, with the Nine of Pentacles, this is the kind of relationship that where it's being kept on the down low. It's really about somebody who doesn't want, you know, everybody to know that they're involved with a certain person. But then there's also that kind of like level of obsession and attachment, right? So that's fine. We can keep it hush hush, but I, I'm still very much interested in you, right? And this may be the person that, you know, you're dealing with you may have recently become single and now you have somebody that's like acting this way you know you could flip the script on this especially considering that playfulness is your overall because for you it may just be this is just fun i don't know what you're talking about right but clearly they are involved somewhere else with the tower you're talking about deceit deception cheating jealousy right but the thing is, is with the Nine of Cups, man, there is a lot of happiness. And then you have that Ace of Wands there, right? So everything down here is showing commitment, a new beginning here, looking at being extremely happy and emotionally fulfilled by being with this person, being really in love. But there is something lingering in the background here. And then the Queen of Cups, it doesn't matter because there's like love, love there. But now we can also be talking though about, you know, the other person that's involved. You know, you may be dealing with somebody who may be extremely jealous, extremely jealous. And I say that because of the tower being there, but let's start from the beginning. This is interesting to me. The Five of Cups. You're talking about somebody that is needing to kind of like come back and apologize for the way that they may have treated you in the past. And I don't think that that's an issue with accepting that, but I think that some of you may have been waiting for this or, you know, I don't know. I almost feel like this is kind of the perspective of the other person. I don't necessarily feel like this is you. I don't feel like it's you waiting on this. I think that you recently may have become single. Somebody has been waiting on that to happen. And I think that they've been waiting to kind of like come in and say, hey, you know, I, I should have stayed with you, stuck with you, whatever. I'm sorry that I rejected you or pushed you away in the past. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. And with the Hierophant, it shows at least some kind of commitment somewhere, especially with that tower being there. Now, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands, I mean, look at it, you know? There is definitely the opportunity for a new beginning, but the way that it's being done is quietly with that Nine of Pentacles. I'm telling you, look at it, right? If you have this deck, you know. It's about a relationship that is being kept quiet. Somebody is not really wanting to be out in the open about it. And then, you know, you move into this place with the Queen of Cups where it, there's like, you're, like I said, you're either dealing with somebody here who is like extremely jealous and, you know, it's found out about and they're like really upset about it, but you guys are still very much connected. Now, on the other hand, that could definitely be representing you or the other person. A lot of romance, a lot of love, like I always say when they show up. It's somebody who really, really loves you, really loves you when you see the king or the queen of cups show up. But I think for you, it's just like, it, it's, it's just fun. <laughs> it's, it's just, that's just about having fun right now. You know, it, it's not about anything serious. Holy crap. And then the five of pentacles, this isn't bad. So for those of you who are in a committed relationship, are you? It looks okay, but I think that let go of control issues is true here that you need to just kind of let go of some things because 
you are in a relationship where somebody really does love you. They, they want you to get kind of caught up in the passion with them, right? And they may be like a really passionate, passionate person, you know, with the emperor being there. You know, but for some reason, you holding on to strength, you don't want to get too caught up into anything right now because your focus may be on somewhere else, may be somewhere else. I look at the Eight of Pentacles and it's like, you know what? I love you, but I can't play with you right now. I'm busy. I, I've got things that I got to do, right? Like in, you know, this is somebody that's like, please, like, please. <laughs> spend some time with me. Now that could definitely be you, but I don't know. I see you as her, whether you're male or female. I got a lot of things on my plate. I got a lot of things that I got to think about and deal with. But eventually you kind of let go here and you kind of go with the flow. With the Seven of Cups, right, being connected to this, this is to me the perspective of the other person here almost. Like they really want to, you know, have that, that fantasy fulfilled with you. And I think that, you know, you kind of fall into that. It takes a little bit, but I think that you fall into that. And I think that with the Knight of Wands, like you may kind of like decide to say, you know what, I need to take a break here from everything else that's going on. Let's go and do something. That's kind of what that feels like to me. And with the Five of Pentacles, right, you're talking about the the classic romance, you know. You know, it looks good. It looks good. But you may be dealing with a partner that's like hot and heavy right now. <laughs> and then the Seven of Wands. Okay. All right. And I don't necessarily believe that there's any reason to doubt anything or to have suspicion because that is the seven of wands but first of all with the magician right like wanting to make something happen here with you and it's because with the empress you are like super attractive to them <laughs> you know you're super beautiful right now you know you're too tempting but they're not pushing the issue right they're not trying to push the issue i think that they're they're understanding that you know, you're kind of coming from a place of, I I've got things I've got to deal with. Now, the Seven of Wands kind of bothers me a little bit. And that may be a point of contention between the two of you where, you know, you may have had some doubts about the relationship. They may have had those same doubts. But the thing is, is you're overcoming it. Any kind of doubt that you've had in your relationship, you're overcoming. And this is for the Tauruses that are happy, that are really happy. But you need to kind of, you know, go with the flow, so to speak, here with let go of control issues. You know, no matter what you're dealing with or how much you, you feel like you have to, you know, pay attention to, whether it's work or, you know, other things that you're focused on. But yeah, you're, you're I think, dealing with a person here that's like, hey, you know, please, I want some attention. 